So guys, what's going on? I hope you guys are well. So guys, just to do a quick video, uh, you know, talking about a few things that I wanted to discuss. Uh, so guys, Canelo um, and Benavidez. Uh, so there's been a lot of back and forth. Uh, you know, Benavidez is uh, gunning down on, on Canelo and um, there's a lot, you know, I think Benavidez, Benavidez wants that fight, of course um Benavidez wants that wants that fight with Saul Canelo Alvarez um and we have to wait and see what happens you know we have to wait and see what happens there's a lot of talk about Munguia Ryder um but there was a lot of talk about Canelo Munguia as well potentially for me but I think the fight that we need to see is Benavidez and uh, Canelo I think there's a lot of talk Benavidez saying that you know Canelo's scared this that the other Canelo I think there's a a lot of trash talking going on obviously it's a fight that a lot of people want to see uh it's a great it's a great fight it, it's a it's a great fight um and a fight that a lot of the fans want to see um but yeah i i want to see i want to see canelo alvarez and uh, david benavidez get it on uh i think that's the fight we all that's the fight that you know uh most boxing fans want to see it's probably the best fight to be made right now uh, it's definitely the best fight involving Canelo Alvarez uh, right now. I think it's a fight that, you know, we must see. Uh, and hopefully these guys can give us the fight we want to see. Um, because I think I think after what Benavidez did to Andrade, I don't think it makes any logical sense uh, for any other fight to happen. Um, I don't think Canelo is scared of Benavidez like people are trying to portray. Or people are trying to, you know, say that Canelo is scared of Benavidez. Absolutely not. Canelo Alvarez has got a proven track record. He'll fight anybody, and I think he, I think we know that. Um, but obviously, uh, you know, sometimes these fights not e always easy uh, to make, but they will get made. And Canelo's proven that in the past with GGG, he's got the he's got the fights made. So I I think look, the fight between Canelo and Benavidez will eventually happen. It's just a matter of a uh, matter of when, not not if it's going to happen for sure. Guys, I also want to touch up on. Uh, Sonny Edwards and Bam Bam Rodriguez. Okay, that was a great fight. You know, fair play to Sonny Edwards. He put in a great performance. Um, and Bam Rodriguez, man, he's special. I look. I said, I said prior that I think, I think Rodriguez would beat uh, Sonny Edwards. I think Edwards is a good fighter. Unfortunately, Edwards doesn't have the power to keep someone like Bam Rodriguez off. And although, and 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 what happened is, is that Bam, Bam Rodriguez made uh, Sonny Edwards. Uh, made Sonny Edwards fight uh, his type of fight and I thought that might happen because I, I knew Sonny Edwards wouldn't be able to fight his style against Rodriguez because Rodriguez is a very educated very skilled pressure fighter who kind of walks you down he hits and he and he hits with a lot of power unfortunately when it comes to Edwards uh, Edwards doesn't really have Edwards doesn't really have that power so when he was trying to fight him, fight with Rodriguez, Rodriguez was just walking through those shots because really, if we are honest, he didn't really have, um, you know, Edwards didn't really have any kind of punching power to deter, um, deter Rodriguez and Rodriguez just walked straight through. Uh, and I think that was the problem that, you know, um, Edwards was in, encountering in the fight. He just didn't have the lack of power, just didn't really allow him to make any kind of dent in Rodriguez and and it kind of it kind of made it easy for Rodriguez because Rodriguez would just walk straight through him uh in the end and, and in the end of you know people saying Edwards quit not really in that situation he never quit um you know he was he, he gave it his all he gave it his all he, he was a proper warrior you know I actually you know I look Edwards comes across quite cringy so I can understand why a lot of people are giving him a lot of slack. But actually, the man went up in my estimation. He's actually a warrior. And he actually fought like a proper proper fighter in there. So I think he deserves a lot of credit and a lot of respect. I don't think people should be, you know, kicking a man when he's down. Especially a guy that's gone in there and and, and really given it his all. You know, he performed very well. I think he I think he put on a very, very, uh, you know, uh, good performance. You know, and I, and, I, and I always felt he would come up short against Rodriguez. I always felt he was going to come up short. I always knew that because of the power, the power is not there at elite level against these type of monster fighters like Bam Rodriguez or you need to have some kind of power because if the guy doesn't respect you, you could see in at the time in there where Rodriguez was like sticking his tongue out. He kind of knew he had Edwards where he wanted to have him because he knew that, you know, he he knew that Edward, Edwards just didn't have any power. 
Now, if there was a guy on the other end that had power, then I think it would have been a different ball game for Rodriguez. If Sonny Edwards had the skill that he had and then he had the power, he, he had power behind his shots, I think it might have been a different ball game. But again, Edwards just doesn't have the power. And because of that, I think he knew that I can't fight the way I normally fight because this Rodriguez is a good fighter. You know, um, and sometimes you believe the hype because there was a lot of hype around Edwards and people here were saying, oh, yeah, Edwards is going to school him. He won't win a round, this, that and the other. Um, but sometimes we we believe and I kind of believe the hype of Edwards. I thought, you know, maybe Edwards is, could school him. But actually there was a golf in class and a lot of the fighters that Sonny Edwards has faced weren't on the level of Ban Rodriguez. And that was the difference in the end because the, the the level that Edwards has been operating at wasn't Bam Rodriguez. Bam Rodriguez was clearly, clearly on a different level, um, you know, to anyone Edwards was facing. So, you know, we got the impression that Edwards would potentially, you know, go in there and, and beat Rodriguez. He'd outclass him and win it on points, but he, he couldn't do that because Rodriguez was special. And I, and I think not just that, and I think Edwards knew his usual style wouldn't work. So Edwards was effectively fighting a style which he knew he, he probably had to adopt to win this fight because his usual style of fighting on the back four wouldn't have worked here because it just wouldn't because I, I felt like he that's why he thought I need to hurt this guy um, but he just couldn't and he just didn't have the punching power or any kind of uh, Edwards Edwards his punching power is like Malinaji he doesn't really have any sting in his punches and uh, I, against a, a a solid pressure fighter like Rodriguez, uh, who's a very good boxer as well, I don't really think you're going to stand much of a shot. Um, and that's what basically happened. I think he was totally, you know, outclassed by a very, very good uh, fighter. Um, and uh, I, I think a lot of people bought into Edwards' hype, the way he boxes and the fact that he's he's flamboyant. But at elite level, the type of style that Edwards has, like if he had power, then it's a different game. Like Nazim Hamed had power. Edwards doesn't really have power. So if you don't have power, the chances of you being successful, you know, and when I mean power, I don't necessarily mean you need power where you hit somebody with a shot and you flatten them completely. But at least the power where you're able to keep somebody off, I don't really think he has that kind of power. I don't think he has even the power to to keep somebody off or for them to respect him because it didn't look like Rodriguez really was affected by his power at all. Um, so, yeah, I think that was the, I think that was the difference. I think Edwards is a quality boxer. He is a quality boxer because, he, you know, what he's done in previous fights, you can't take that away from him. Unfortunately, when you fight someone as special as Rodriguez, you're not going to be able to get away with the way Sonny Edwards fights. At elite level, those guys will expose you more often than not. But like I said, Edwards has got nothing to be ashamed of. I think he put in a great performance. I think he can hold his head up high and say that, you know what, I, I went in there and I gave it my all and you know, I came up short. And he kind of said that. And he was very he was very gracious in, in, in defeat. Well, very, he was, look, I know he talks a lot of crap, but I, I mean, he did that to sell the fight. Um, but, you know, the way he acted after, he's, it shows he's a, he's, he's, a, he's a proper guy and he fought like a proper boxer in there you know what i mean he fought with his heart you know and he and he went out on his shield man i know people say he quit or whatever nah he didn't quit for me he went out on his shield you know i don't think at that point it was any point of just sending him out there to take a beating because that's what was happening as the rounds were going on bam rodriguez was getting more aggressive he was getting more hurt the punches were getting more spiteful and edwards was getting hurt more and more it was a matter of time before he would have fl flattened him and and I think the corner kind of sensed it. And I think the corner pulled him out at the right time. Um, I think that there's too many barbaric boxing fans out there that want to see people get hurt. You know, this isn't, this is a sport at the end of the day. It's not there for, for people to get hurt. And Edwards was on the verge of really getting hurt. You know, he was already badly beaten up. You could see his face had been like, he, you know, he had been, you know, his eye was swollen. You know, they say he had orbital damage, a broken orbital. So, yeah, I mean, it would have been stupid to carry on, especially when you're fighting a very, very skilled puncher, pressure fighter like Rodriguez. Yeah, it, it was just that that would have that would have ended very badly. So I rather see Edwards, who's a very talented fighter, very good fighter, fight another fight, you know, fight on and fight another day. And who knows, he might win another world title. But, you know, I think some of the fans can sometimes be ridiculous and harsh 
But yeah, I think Edwards performed very well. But Rodriguez is a special fighter. Leave your thoughts, guys. Let me know what you think. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.